All right, we're back, everyone. I just rather just keep this plugged in. Damn, it does not take long to charge it all. Nice. There is Valerie. Toa. Where is Valerie? Guild's also trying to find out what the Air Coral to an Erebonia. Right now, Agate's looking into the east side of the Empire. I see. There's ongoing competition for intelligence on Calvert over there, too. I'm kind of worried. Yeah, but worrying won't do anything for us. Just like Elisa, Tio, and George. I'll contribute all my powers as an engineer to help out. For our current field exercises, I'll run more tests for the boost carrier. It definitely won't be easy, but I'll have the Hector all tuned up and ready for it soon enough. Heh, <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. You're really fired up about this, huh? Well, of course, this must be the power of love. Muse, what's love got to do with this? Yes! Oh, I ain't getting cash three eight times soon. Thanks! I got, I got something called the revolution. Oh, nice. Deal bonus damage to high level enemies. Did you need something? Find freaking Valerie. <laughs> I recommend everything. See you again. It's huge. We're really gonna we're really gonna need these bikes. Should we get going? Yes. breeze feels so good it's so early in the morning but I lo look how bright it is oh I love being near the water I've only been to Ortis via train before the train's perfect for a bike though the ride is nice but we need to focus on the destination Juno Naval Fortress the HQ of the Unified Regions Army go along the road and then go north at the three-way split the fortress sits atop a cliff I'm sure you'll see you'll be in awe at the sight it won't be much longer
There! An opening! All right! Wide open! It's mine! Yes! Risen! I'm going! There! My turn! It's down! It's mine! I'm going! There! <laughs> Good work, everyone! Oh, I could, yeah, I could, I could do that. To get some extra CP back. There! Our chance! It's down! Keep it up! All right! <laughs> My turn. I'm going. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. It's my turn. Yeah. Wide open. It's mine. Let's go. Yeah. It's my. Yeah. Oh, did we win? We did. Indeed, we did. This is the canyon leading to our cow. Should be pretty fast on bikes. Good to know. I'll keep that in mind when we need to go there. It's down! Keep it up! It's my turn! Yes! At sure! Yeah! Right. yeah. It's Everything is getting Let's go. It's my turn! Yeah. Oh, more guests! Now! Music! It's my turn! I'm going! Risen! I'm going! It's my turn. Ha! Yes. Yeah. Sure. It's my turn. Oh, did we win? We did indeed. Treasure located. Oh, that's it. That's right. I needed to begin. True gladiator belt. And you can have the regular gladiator belt. Speed plus seven, huh? Or being faster, it could be nice. Yeah, that'll be nice. Yeah! Now, bring it on! Second form? Here Damn! we go! Our chance! It's mine! I'm going! Yeah! I'm going! Ha! Let's go! Sit! Here I go! Here I go! Yeah! <laughs> well, look at that! Stats updated. Alright, let's rock.
Oh, we gotta go to West Lamar Highway 1, not 2, okay. Or, uh, West Lamar Highway 1, not Languedoc Canyon Road. Okay. Let's take a right here. Hey, our chance. Hey, <laughs> Not easy peasy. Oh. We should stop by the naval fortress before heading toward us. Super Ready. aggravating, actually. Whoa! Just look at this place. Juno Naval Fortress. This is Juno Naval Fortress, HQ of the Unified Regions Army. It's gigantic, and it looks like some medieval castle. That would be because it is, a historical one at that. It was built in the Dark Ages and has been refortified for modern use. And it was once Prince General Le Guin's residence. Damn, so that monster used to cozy up in there with 50,000 soldiers? During the war, the Imperial Army was at a loss after multiple failed attempts to infiltrate. It is fully equipped with multiple Panzer Soldats, large class airships, and enough supplies and anti aircraft cannons to last three years. It was said that if you dared attack from the front, then you would have seen a hundred thousand casualties. So it was said indeed. And thus a deal was struck that shifted the Northern War. You sure know a lot about this fortress, Allie. It was information gathered as part of an intelligence division investigation. Oh, okay. It's still always better to know more than less. I'll say, information is power. It helped us plenty so far, so I can't argue that. Alright, let's head on in. We need to report to Brigadier General Bardius first thing to kick off our exercises. I guess they made the bike a little easier to control. Stop. Identify yourselves. Of course. We're with Thor's Military Academy's branch campus. We're here to report to the start of our field exercises. The Brigadier General said you were coming. Then you must be. Then that must mean you're the Ashen Chevalier. We've heard of your triumphs during the Northern War. It's an honor to meet you. Thank you. Man, he's so famous. Wait, wasn't the instructor their enemy during the Civil War? Why are they so excited to see him? It has long been accepted that the Civil War was the madness of Dukes Cayenne and Dalborea. I would imagine these soldiers were more than happy to see someone stop their leaders. The hundreds of archaisms he destroyed in Northambria have also attributed to his fame. Good for him. Open the gates! Allow our guests through! By all means, go on ahead. Brigadier General Bardius is waiting. Ah, this is the Unified Regions Army. It's so early in the day, but they're super into it. They're meant to be among the best of the best. I believe even their newest recruits are considered a cut above the others. They are. Every recruit was selected from the provincial armies all over the country. The Brigadier General leading them is also nothing short of magnificent. This particular army isn't as sizable as it was when it was considered part of the Noble Alliance, though. They only have about 30,000 men. I don't see any Goliath soldats, do you? Yeah. 
Guess the government's tight on the purse strings of even HQ. Hey, Allie, Ash. <laughs> I'll refrain from comment. The command room is over in that building. Allow me to guide you. Thank you. That's interesting. It's a light armored panzer car used by the RMP. You know, we have two other guests at the moment. I think they're looking forward to seeing you. Now follow me if you please. And we shall. Brigadier General, I brought your guests. Right. Let them in. We're coming in. Ah, I suspected as much. Major Claire, and you too, Patrick? <laughs> Entirely by chance, I assure you. It's good to see you, Reen. And Class 7, too. Whoa, what are you doing here? Long time no see. Sorry we couldn't meet in cross, but... Er... Now that she mentions it, this woman was in charge of the plan in Michelin, correct? Operation Birdcage, yes. All right, the beautiful RMP agent. The woman who so heroically trapped all those people in Crossbell and got showered with praise for doing it. Urgh. Quiet, Ash. I'm sorry about no, him. No, he has a point. I've heard about you two. You're the new members of Class 7, aren't you? Ash Carbide and Muse Egret. Heh, <laughs> don't need to introduce myself then. <laughs> I've heard so much about you. I came here to discuss security measures for the Imperial Provincial Council, but we've just finished our meeting, so I should be on my way. If you would excuse me, Brigadier General, Patrick. Of course. Thank you for your time. Do remember to keep a close eye on the Marquis. Yes, understood. Instructor Claire. I'd heard the rumors, but it seems the crossbell situation is more chaotic than I'd even imagined. Yeah, they've got a whole different set of problems than we do in Aramonia. Anyway, Patrick, I haven't seen you in three months, and even longer for you, Brigadier General. <laughs> Half a year, right? Back at the Northern War Victory Celebration. That man said to be the right hand of General Le Guin. The Black Whirlwind. You don't get a nickname just like that just for sitting around. Brigadier General Wallace Bardius. Wallace Bardius at your service. I lead the Unified Regions Army. And you also lead the Spearmen's of Hotness. And I'd like to welcome you to Le Maire, New Class 7. <laughs> Seems like General Le Guin's really got your nose to the grindstone. Indeed she does. Indeed she does. But we're happy to do it. If I may, Brigadier General, I'm here to let you know that we'll be starting our field exercises. Understood. Good luck with your training. Not that my words were worth much. I'm just filling in. <laughs> I take it this is... I take it this Marquis Ballad is busy? Busy is one word for it. If you call going out on the town the night before the Imperial Provincial Council busy, then yes, he's quite busy. Wait, really? Really, the guy's notorious in the mayor for being such a bum. <laughs> they say he spends his more time in Raquel than he does in Ortis. Hey now, let's not be rude. Well, I'd love to keep discussing Marquis, Marquis Ballad's failings. I'm afraid we have to cut to the chase here. Here's your, here's your stuff for the time. Marine received a list of special operations mission requests. Attached to the usual documents was an additional form with the header Advisory. Regarding potential Jaeger Corps activity in La Mer. This says, possible movement by the Red Constellation and Zephyr. I'm afraid we don't have any concrete evidence. But over the past six months, we've seen some suspicious activity from both the Jaeger Corps. Activity that's led us to believe they're planning something in the Imperial Provincial Council in La Mer. You can't be serious. Would they really target the Provincial Council? It's possible we're jumping at shadows, but 
We can't even say whether or not the society is involved. But, as one of the stewards of the council, I thought it best to discuss the possibility with the Brigadier General. I see, so this request is yours, Patrick? Have the Intelligence Division or the RMP offered inform any information? I talked with, to Major Revelt about conducting joint operations in the event of an emergency. But she didn't have any information to share and the Intelligence Division has yet to respond to us. I suppose we can thank the government for that. Why would they ignore something like this? Because they don't give a damn about the world outside their precious capital. Which is why I'm so grateful that you're here. Your very presence is like a blessing from the winds and the goddess. I look forward to seeing what General Le Guin's Class 7 is capable of. Oh, a blessing from the winds. It's the traditional faith of the Nord Highlands. We won't disappoint. We'll keep our ears to the ground for any sort of Jaeger activity. Especially any that might have to do with the Council. Good, I'm counting on you. By the way, will you be heading straight to Ordis? If you'd like, I can order you a car. Don't worry, we've got our transportation all taken care of. The Orbal bikes, I take it? If you have an extra seat, would you mind if I joined you? Not at all. Everyone else okay with that? Of course. If we change our seating arrangements, we should have room. Farewell, young master. Best of luck with the council. Would you stop calling me that? I swear it's as if you and Celestine are trying to drive me mad. Paris thought, Master Patrick. Take care out there. Wallace is just trolling you. Mm. Oh man, my squeaky chair is so squeaky. I believe you're a Vander and you're a citizen of Crossbell, yes? And you're Ultina, was it? I've heard much about you. You have? From me. I consulted with him often last year for my work. I heard that you're the son of Marquis High Arms. You were a classmate of Instructor Reens at the main campus, right? Yes, though we were in different classes. And of course, you two are from the Lomare province. From Ordis, to be precise, I am Count Egret's granddaughter. I've heard many stories about you, Lord Patrick. Haha, <laughs> something along the lines of the Marquis, no good third son, I suppose. I'm not acquainted with your grandfather, but I do know of him. He acted as a consultant for the previous duke. <laughs> so I hear. I'm not from Ordis like her. I lived in Raquel. I'm afraid I don't have any fancy connections to the upper class. Raquel, huh? I've been there a few times for the casinos and theaters. I find its bustling nightlife to be as refreshing as it is unique, personally. Ha! <laughs> we can talk more on the way. You can ride next to me, Patrick. You know, can Altina ride with you? Sure thing, Instructor. This split allows for optimal weight distribution. Well then, let's get going. Time to zoom in on the zoom. Yeah, they made the bikes quite a bit easier to handle in this game, which is nice. See that off in the distance? That's the port city of Ordis. It's still a ways away, but it shouldn't take too long by bike. I motion that we head straight there without any side trips to distract us. Agreed, our schedule is going to be packed again, so we should start our special operations as soon as possible. Someone wants to hit the beach. How to approach the special operations is left to the student's discretion, correct? That's right. Priority missions and emergencies aside, you're free to tackle your assignments as you see fit. So you might want to take some time to discuss how to handle them with your classmates. Very well. That's what I like to hear. At some point, I feel like we won't need to worry about you two pulling your own weight. We might want to worry about holding them back. No kidding. Especially you, Ash. You need to remember to work with us, not against us. Roger that, Wild Philly. Why, you... You wanna go, Pudding Head? Oh, well, they're certainly living up to the Class 7 name. They have the same sort of energy you did. Remember how determined I used to be to prove Class 1 superiority? <laughs> how could I forget? Thor's main campus separated nobles and commoners into different classes until just last year, didn't they? The old Class 7 being, the notables, being a notable exception. That's right. Though, honestly, I'm still a little torn about that. Thinking back on it, there was something to be said for competition between the upper and lower classes. Perhaps, but it was absolutely unfair for the noble students to get a private salon and longer vacations. Keeping that in mind, I completely understand the change to a merit-based system. Hmm, I can't speak to the class-divided approach, but the merit-based system isn't without its flaws. Besides, wouldn't the prince still get special treatment regardless? Yeah, I'm sure his whole little entourage is, their own, has their, is in their own little damn cast at that school. 
I w it would hardly surprise me. I wonder how the main campus of field exercises in North Ambria are going right now. Anyway, we've gotten sidetracked. Should we, we should make our way to orders. Understood? Let us be off. And to Ortis, we go. The seat is comfortable, but I never thought they'd enter mass production. Ha! Huh. You must be happy about it, though, Reen. You used to ride your bike everywhere. I am. And it never would have happened without Angelica and George. Give me the salt feeder. Hmm, only this part of the wall is white. Then I believe we found our salt feeder. All right, let's get this done. The group obtained salt feeder. All right. Hey yeah. There's a note. Yeah, not a whole lot of things I need from here. Hey yeah. We'll end this quick. Wide open. It's mine. It's my turn. It's down. Keep it up! My turn! It's down! It's mine! Yes! There! It's my turn! Arcus at there! I'm going! Huh? It's my turn! All right! Stop. Nice! We did it! All right! I mean, I need quite a bit more... Ah, oh, treasure chest. Time Tipeth. Everyone ready? Now! Let's go! It's my Yeah! Now's our chance! An opening! It's my turn! There! Wide open! It's mine! I got this! It's my turn! Yeah! I'm up! I got this! Arcus, activate! I'm up! All right! It's my turn! Huh? All right! <laughs> Wide open! It's mine! Yeah! It's my turn! Yeah. Everyone okay? I need... This one to hit level 5. What does Ash have as a main? Scorpio? That's a good one. This way, get me a picture. We can see the naval fortress very well from here. The opposite side of it too. It looks like it looks so different from this angle. It really does. Juno Naval Fortress looks as though it's floating upon the ocean. Maybe I'll take a landscape photo for Vivi. That's a keeper. I'll send it to her later. No, you'll send it to her now. So green. No. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. There. Let's wipe them out. Yeah. It's my turn. Yeah. Sure. Let's go! Huh. All right! There! Yes! Yeah. Let's go! Huh. All right! I ain't scared of you, I bro! Yeah! Yes! Huh. <laughs> Good work, everyone! Yeah, Virgo's gonna be a long way from being leveled up. Now! Bring it on! Now! Keep it up! I'm going! Glee! Yes! Huh? There! Yes! Arca- <laughs> There! Here I go! <laughs> Wide open! It's mine! I got this! 
done already? Cool cast too is good. Ah, oh, treasure chest. Hey, yeah! An opening. Now. Keep it up. Here I go. Wide open. Ah. I'm going. Risen. All right, yeah. Again. I'm going. Ha! It's my turn. Ha! My turn. Ja! Yeah. It's mine. It's my turn. Come at me! I'm up! It's my turn! Ash just wants all the bros to come at him. Our chance! It's mine! Yes! Resonate! Yes! There! Yes! There! <laughs> Good work, everyone! Virgo got a lot of EXP out of that. That's updated. All right, let's go to orders. I literally just ran around in the damn circle. We're gonna call it here for now. Till next time, everybody.